Hi ladies, it's Karen, and I know I'm late in everything, but I finished my mini album slash Christmas journal um, for Wanda. She's Boxy Bell here on YouTube, and Wanda, I am so sorry that this, you know, comes to you after Christmas, but it it is completed, and I wanted to share, share it with you all. So, um, the paper collection that I use primarily was the authentic um, festive and it's really beautiful papers um, this is one of the only sheets I have left um, I also used some of the seven gypsies um, Santa's journey paper really sweet and distressed papers you're getting a lot of light and I'm really sorry about that and I also used a lot of the Old World Winter paper from Hobby Lobby. Also beautifully vintage distressed Christmas paper. Um, I also used a lot of the sticker elements from the Authentic paper. Really super cute. I tried to find a place for all of them, but then that would have overdid it. <laughs> so there's that. And I also used... Um, stickers from this. This is from Hobby Lobby and this is one of my favorite sticker sheets ever. I just love the vintage feel of this. Um, these stickers and I used some of the tags from the um, Anna Griffin Holiday Traditions and um, I like them because most of them have lines in them. So really super cute. Also when you tear them out you don't get that whole part there. So that was cute. So um so this is my mini album and I know it's really chunky and I wish I had two inch O wires but as it is I, I had to use um, my cinch one inch O wires and the cinch wires I have a bind it all and the cinch wires don't really cinch real well so um but anyway so it's you know it's chunky but I like the way it came out I hope you don't mind Wanda <laughs> so um, on the binder rings I just tied some of the these um, gold fibers that I received in a rack I love these fibers um, some red silk ribbon a little bit of white lace and then on the um, garment pin I took the holly leaf off of my December daily because I'm not using my December daily I'm using the uh, journal that Wanda sent me so I took the holly leaf off that and gave it to her and this little charm that says Merry Christmas. So for the cover, um, it, it has a, it's a chipboard cover and I painted it um, first in the metallic red paint and then adhered this pa <clears throat> excuse me this paper from the old world old world winter stack um, went over it with the Mod Podge. Um, this effect here, that little, um, whatever you call it, mesh there is from this ribbon that I had picked up at Michael's when it was really clearanced off. And um, I just cut off the sides and it makes it real thin and pliable and fun to work with. So that's what I did there. And um, I did that to a little bit on the back as well. I thought it came out really cute. And I added some um, Christmas flowers here and some Christmas bling, and then I sprayed it with the um, Lindy's Stamping, um, the frosted, I forget the color, but it's like a frosted color to give it a, a washed look to it. Um, the Christmas Wishes is just a, a sentiment stamp from, or sticker from one of my sticker sheets from Hobby Lobby and this gold piece here is from a, um, a punch that I have and this is the American Crafts just sorry and this is the American Crafts glitter paper um, from Target so so um for the first page, the inside cover, um, I made it a little pocket page 
and I used my um, Martha Stewart punch to give it a little edge there. And then these are just um, tags from the collection. Um, and I used the glitter paper to make the tab. And this is a, a photo mat and it could be used for journaling on the other side. Um, this is a big snowflake embellishment that I picked up somewhere along the way and um, a green bloomer with a little recollections glittered ornament sticker or dimensional um, sticker. Um, for, for the next page, I hope you can see this. I know it's a weird angle. For the next page, I love this music page. I didn't do a whole lot, but I did make a um, cut like a banner out of the glitter paper and I used this Kane Company um, embellishment here with the little holly leaf, if you can make that out. Um, I, I really love that, those embellishments. And I love this authentic paper. Um, also, for a lot of the pages, I outlined them in my gold, um, old gold foil pen, if you can make that out. Also, um, the pages have been distressed with walnut, walnut distress ink and, um, and the gold foil pen. The next page is this, and this is a chipboard page. It's a sticker from the co Authentic collection, and I just added a little um, snowflake embellishment. Um, there's a little red bloomer type flower there, and I made a little bow with um, lace. thought that was cute. Um, this is a glassine, the next page is a glassine bag, and it was wider than what my album was, so I had to fold it and then adhere it. And then um, I took a strip of a strip of the authentic paper and I added it here. This is a felt tree, some recollections, um, snowflakes, and then up here, um, I altered this little clothespin with um, lace and a Christmas flower from Recollections. And inside the glassine bag, um, oh, for heaven's sakes, whoops, sorry, is this little um, fold out piece where she could add pictures. So I thought that was cute. <clears throat> and then the other side of the glassine bag, I used my browns, uh, cocoa brown or whatever, stays on ink, and stamped it. Um, I used this trim here. Um, I tied a, a little bow with the this gold. Um, it's kind of like a rope, I guess, but really sweet. Recollections flower and this um, vintage looking Christmas ribbon. This here is one of the index cards that I had stained when I did, uh, when I um, stained a lot of tea dye and coffee dyed um, papers and tags and everything. Well, this is one of the index papers and this poinsettia is an embellishment that Wanda had sent to me. So I thought it's a good place for journaling. And on the other side, I just cut out a banner and this is a sentiment from the Authentic Collection. Um, let's dance and sing and make good cheer for Christmas comes but once a year. This next page is a, um, is a paper bag page and um, I used the old winter papers, snow, a big snowflake embellishment. This is a, a silk um, poinsettia from a bundle that I got at the Dollar Tree. Little snowflake in there and some lace and trim on the top. So I thought that came out really sweet. And then the other side looks like this. I put some um, some of the Anna Griffin tags in here for journaling. It's a doily tradition sticker and it says Merry Christmas with a couple of little blings and a doily for photo mat. This next page is one of the loose leaf papers that I had tea dyed and um, coffee dyed and I just cut it to size and I thought it came out really cool looking and um, it has a definite old feel to it. 
so I thought she would have fun journaling there. And at the bottom, I just put a wish list sticker with some bling. And on the other side, I added this little sticker from Recollections, I believe, with a cute picture of Santa. So I love how the, that paper came out. This is an old Christmas note card. Um, so all I did was add paper to the inside and stamped this um, Christmas stamp here with my green stays on ink. And then on the back of it, I added some paper and another um, sticker from the Authentique collection. Um, this paper here is basic is the basic gray collection, and I just cut it down to I cut a couple pieces down to size, and then adhered them together because it's one sided paper. And then I um, outlined it with the gold foil pen, and I stamped my little reindeer guy there with the brown memento or brown stays on. So I thought that came out really cute, a good place for journaling. And on the other side as well, and this little tab here is from the Authentique collection as well. Whoops, sorry. So I thought that came out cute. Um, this page here, this is one of those 5x7 yellow envelopes that have the little clasp on it. So uh, I trimmed off the top and then folded it, um, folded it and then adhered it here and here and then covered it with, obviously covered it with paper so that, you know, it made a pocket here. So this is the Seven Gypsies paper. Um, I made a couple of tags. This is using one of those um, beautiful Christmas stamps. I think it's the winter postcard stamp. And then I sprayed it with the frost um, colored lindies so it kind of looked like snow on there. I thought it came out really cute. And then I um, used my gold foil pen all the way around. Um, some seam binding that I dyed um, to match with the Lindy Stamp Gang and the back is blank for journaling or whatever. So I thought that was cute and um, this other tag is just the reindeer guy again because he's cute and some of the gold fiber that I like. And this is um, more Seven Gypsies paper and then this, this part is open because this is the open part of the envelope. So there's just a photo mat in here, or a place for journaling, however she chooses to use it. <clears throat> and they just slide back in. So I really liked that idea. This is a good size um, thing. Oh, and then my little Christmas kitten stamp. I love this stamp. So I put her there. And then the opposite side is also Seven Gypsies paper. And I didn't do anything here because this paper is perfect the way it is. Here's another tea dye, or it could be a coffee stained tag. I, it's hard to tell them apart, but a coffee stained tag um, that I made, and I just left the string on it because I liked the look of that. Um, here's another chipboard page, and the authentic paper up here is some of the gold fibers, and then I laid this Recollections flower on top with a couple of blings on either side. Um, and this is a sentiment from the Authentic collection. I just put it on a pop dot. Um, I edged it with my gold foil pen. I think I mentioned that. So I thought that was cute. Nice place for a picture. And then this other side is the Authentic paper. And um, I didn't really want to do too much to it. But what I did was I took my modeling paste and the brick... Um, um, stencil and I you know use my modeling paste to make the brick so it looked like I don't know similar to a fireplace I guess because here's Santa right here um, this is one of the can company embellishments and it says love and I thought it matched the paper so she could put a photo here but this paper is beautiful the way it is <laughs> so um, I loved working with the modeling paste there this is another one of the tea dyed or coffee dyed um, loose leaf papers that I cut down to size and see it's it's torn and stuff because the paper's real fragile, you know, when it's wet. But it really looks cool. And this is one of the stickers from the paper studios I put there. Really sweet. And on the back I put this is another sticker from the paper studio. And um, 
I thought it just looked real sweet. Oh, the light's changing. I hope you could still see. Um, for this, this page is another piece of the authentic paper. And I just took two, oh no, this is just one sheet. Anyway, um, this is just a single sheet. It's not chipboard or anything. But I made a photo mat. This is a, um, a Jolie's um, embellishment there. Uh, I put a piece of burlap here because I love my burlap. And this Sentiment Magic of Christmas is from Authentique. Added some Christmas bling there. So I thought that was sweet. And this is from the countdown page. And then the other side of that is is this. This is another um, in a Griffin journaling spot. But um, another place for a photo. This is, you know, some of that vine trim and I just put it there. Um, sentiment says, tis a season to be jolly and I just matted it on top of another, you know, I have that scallop circle punch. Added some trim that Joanne had sent me. So I thought that was cute. Um, this page here is is two, I think it's, yeah, a sheet of music paper adhered to the other side of a um, paper from the from Hobby Lobby. But this is music sheet paper, and I just sprayed it with the um, red Lindy's and the frosted Lindy's, and I, I just worked the paper. Um, trying to get it to have a vintage look. I don't know. <laughs> and then I just added some white flatback pearls and a doily. And um, I thought it came out cute. And then the opposite side of that is this. So, um, a photo mat here. This is from Hobby Lobby, this paper. And this is the authentic paper. Um, I just added a an old um, image that I had downloaded on, um, printed from online in another journaling spot there. <clears throat> this is um, a half of one of the um, chipboard, chipboard, you know, albums from Michaels. So I took one and I just cut a piece off of it. I painted it with my gold metallic paint and um, Use my crocodile to put these holes there, and I just sprayed it with my Lindy Stamp Gang, and this is the effect that it that it had, and I thought it came out really cool. The red bow is from Jolie's. Um, I added a couple of charms at the bottom here, um, naughty or nice list, and a peppermint. So I thought that was really cute. So she could add a photo there. And on the opposite side, I painted this one with my green metallic paint. And I added this um, sticker from the Authentic Collection. It says, "'Twas the Night Before Christmas poem. And um, I added a little doily and then this um, Recollections poinsettia on top. So I thought that was cute. And this is more basic gray paper. Um, you know, I took two sheets and adhered them together back to back. I outlined it in the, with the green foil, or with the gold foil pen. And um, the tab there is from Authentic. And that's um, a Santa Claus stamp. And I didn't color it in because I thought she could journal right through that because it's kind of an open stamp. That's why I didn't color these stamps in. But I thought he was cute. And this side is the Florida Santa. <laughs> Santa at the beach. Um, this here is um, uh, part of a Christmas card. And I've had this for the longest time, and I've been saving it. And I was so glad that I did save it because it it's it looks so cute in in this album. I, th I thought it's real pretty. I don't know if you could tell, but he's all glittered, and the red is all foiled and stuff. So I just cut it down to size and used my corner chomper to give it the ticket stub ends. And on the other side is um, this piece from the Authentic Collection. And I added some more of the Anna Griffin um, journaling tags. And so those go in there. And this this is another, whoops, sorry. This is another uh, chipboard piece, uh, chipboard page. I'm sorry. Hold on. I'm sorry about that. Um, so this is another uh, chipboard page. Um, I 
paper from Authentique, and this is just a, um, a piece from another random Christmas piece of paper. It doesn't go with any of the collections. Um, this is one of the elements um, that Wanda had sent when she sent me my Christmas um, journal. So I thought it was really cute, so I put that there. Little journaling spot, added some glitter snowflake glitter tape and red trim and um, recollections poinsettia there, so I thought that was cute. And for this, um, oh, and I outlined it, you know, with the gold foil pen, you know, on both sides. For this page, I really liked the red page, but um, I took, I used my Art Is stencil and took my modeling paste and, um, you know, did that with the modeling paste, and I thought it came out really cute, left a really sweet texture. Um, so I thought that came out sweet. I used this point, Recollections poinsettia with some of the gold fiber underneath. <clears throat> this is one of the library cards that I tea stained and coffee stained with some of the stickers from the embellishments on, on it. Um, it's a couple of the smaller Recollections Christmas flowers that they had there. <clears throat> this is another one of the, um, you know, the five by seven envelopes <clears throat> that I used, you know, before that I just folded it over. <clears throat> but, and I used the um, Santa's Journey, Journey Seven Gypsies to cover this. And instead I adhered it here and here to make the pocket up on top, see? So I used, I had to cut this, um, I think it's a size eight tag. I had to cut it down to fit in this in this pocket, but I thought it came out sweet anyway. Um, I distressed it and I used that Christmas stamp with the key. Um, once again, a hearty greeting. I took some of the same um, the same ribbon stuff and I folded it around the edge. See, and um, then I added some fibers and lace and um, silk ribbon. <clears throat> so that's that. And then in the inside of the pocket is a couple of photo mats. <clears> There's <throat> seven gypsies paper, and this is the old world winter paper. And I just stamped the back of this with one of my Christmas stamps. It came out really faint. I think I need some more uh, stays on ink. But um, I thought she could still journal on there. <clears throat> Excuse me. And this is the back side of that one. And this is an authentic sticker. Other, other than that, I left it alone. This is another paper bag. And this paper bag um, was maroon in color, so I didn't have to do anything to it. I added a sheet of Christmas paper. <clears throat> Excuse me, not Christmas paper, music paper. Um, then just used the... Um, the stamp from Michaels with my green stays on ink. Added some of the red trim and the red poinsettia. I thought it came out really sweet. There's nothing in these bags. She could add her extra photos or something. <clears throat> then for this one, I, I added the paper and tied a bow in this like vintage type Christmas ribbon and added the you know recollections embellishment. Some more of the Anna, Anna Griffin tags for journaling. This is another one of the index cards that I had tea, tea dyed or stained or whatever. <clears throat> and it came out really cool. So I put a um, sentiment sticker there. The things we are truly thankful for are the things we keep closest to our hearts. And inside looks like that <clears throat> for journaling, excuse me, and a little naughty, naughty or nice sticker from Authentique. And then this page is also a, a chipboard chipboard page and um, I outlined it with the gold foil pen. Um, the Jolie's Boutique Holly thing there. And I also used the, um, the ma uh, not the mask, the stencil, um, or the art is stencil on this one with my modeling paste, but then I highlighted it with the, with the red, red distress ink to bring it out a little bit more. I didn't want to cover the cardinal. I thought this paper was really pretty. <clears throat> and then 
the other side of it looks like this and I used my green I love this I love this ribbon <clears throat> this felt green ribbon and a couple of the gold recollections flowers another journaling spot from Anna Griffin um, this is a Maya Road envelope and I had stamped it using the Christmas kitten stamp and I went over the cat's hat with the um, uh, you know it's dimensional it's the white pen and it makes this dimensional I'm sorry I can't remember it offhand and then used some silver stickles for there and I uh, colored the hat with my Copics and then I you know inked around the edges there's nothing in here she could add something and then I added a couple of snowflake embellishments to the opposite side the inside cover looks like this I just used that same green felt trim and a couple of recollection poinsettias. So I know this, I know this is a long um, video, but I really wanted to um, share this, and I hope I hope she likes it. And again, I'm so sorry that it comes to you after Christmas, Wanda. And I hope it doesn't keep you from wanting to do a swap with me again. I was just so disorganized this season. But anyway, I'm, I'm sending this out to you, and um, love comes along with it. So uh, thanks so much for watching, everyone. I appreciate it. Bye-bye now.